When Mother is looking for new recruits, she goes to the saddlery in Oars Rush. It's common knowledge in the nest, though no one really knows why. And it's the only clue I have. Now, to find that saddlery. That way. Thank you for your patronage. I shall prepare the goods post-haste. In the meantime, please wait at the tavern. Hmm. Might I help you find something? We have an array of goods made of cloth and leather and even others with chains. I'm not here for horse gear. But, milady, this is a saddlery. Is that so? What did that man purchase just now? He didn't seem to have a horse with him. Hmm. You have a keen eye, milady. Alas, that man did, in fact, bring a horse. I saw it with my own eyes. I would not be able to craft the proper gear otherwise. Yes, in fact, I, I was muted because it's not important. Point is, uh, figured here, I'll just I'll, I'll recap some stuff real quick that I said. But, because I didn't realize I was muted. I was playing Final Fantasy XIV before this. My mic doesn't have a mute button when plugged into a PS5 controller. Uh, my PS5 controller has the mute button. But PS5 controllers also have built-in mics. So I always have to have it muted. Otherwise, people will hear me talking and stuff constantly, whether or not I'm talking to them. <clears throat> so I always have my PS5 controller muted so that that can absolutely happen uh pretty easily and i just won't realize it so what i'm doing is i'm starting with throne's route and i'm going to work my way down the coast counterclockwise to do everybody's routes as of right now because that way i'll kind of get everybody's in a way that i'm essentially doing it in ascending level order Yeah. And then, uh, also I said, uh, it goes pretty good. Just finished dinner. And then I asked, how are your taxes going? Are they taxing? I also made a couple of really good quips about stuff that was happening. But I can't even remember what the fuck they were. <clears throat> Did he now? Please come again. As I suspected. It isn't a saddlery at all. I mean, yeah, that's that's how it happens usually. It's usually like you get a little bit from one and then a lot from the other, or you owe a little bit to one and get a lot from the other. <clears throat> As for this horse, it must be what I need for the exchange. 
Which means that man from before has one without a doubt. I suppose it's time to see a man about a horse. But that's true, especially, like, when you're working different hours than what was projected at the start of the year. <clears throat> or whenever you started your job, if you started a new job. Stuff like that, you know? Saddle up. I've brought my horse with me this time. Ah, so you have. Which means I can finally treat you like a customer. <laughs> you sure don't make things easy for your clients. Aye, for mine is a very exclusive business. Now, what are you after? Mother. Mother of the Blacksmiths. Oh, oh my god, she actually just came out and said it, huh? She's one of my best customers. Your request is beyond my power. Like I was joking. Well then. <clears throat> Good thing it's not a request. Mother is meeting a man I introduced her to. They call him the Slaver. He runs the slave trade and is doing business in the town's old foundry right now. I see. To reach him, you must know these words. Drink from the cup in your left hand. Remember them well. Thank you. Be prepared. I doubt his lips will be as loose as mine. Lives may be lost before he is willing to talk. A small price to pay. Or maybe I should just focus Throne's route. <clears throat> I'm still being followed. They've been trailing me since I arrived. Because, I mean, one of the things I find most annoying about Octopath Traveler is that you can't switch out the first character that you choose, you've chosen until you finish their story. I'd better get rid of them. Because I like to level my entire party equally, but Throne is quite a few levels ahead of everybody else. Because I can't switch her out. Who are you, and why are you following me? I'll find out whether you like it or not. <clears throat> okay, sure. I'm through playing games. He had a face. My imagination? <clears throat> Not that it matters. I have to focus. 
I must find that slaver. I'm so confused. I mean, his face did look weird to me. But I assumed it was because it's kind of hard to see in the distance. Raise your head with your right hand. Drink from the cup in your left hand. You may pass. Black begins. Choose a cup. Your turn. White. Drink. Now. Was dramatic. <laughs> How do you like that? Ooh, looks like someone owes me 80,000 leaves. Damn it, I can't believe I'm lost. All right, who's next? Bring him in. It looks like they're gambling. You're first. Choose a cup. Uh, no, I don't want to. You didn't even manage to stick the knife in him. You suck. No fun at all, that one. No wonder I couldn't find a buyer for him. No one knows which cup the poison's in. <clears throat> That's what makes it fun, right? I haven't seen you here before. You're the slaver, I presume? I am a buyer and seller of slaves. So, what sort of merchandise are you looking to buy, young lady? A woman named Mother of the Black Snakes. A dangerous customer you are. Perhaps this is the day my luck runs dry. <laughs> is she here or not? You're too late. She already left. I can't tell you where she's gone. Without the proper compensation, that is. <clears throat> you carry a delectable scent. It's the smell of shore flowers. Do you like it? It isn't the flowers I'm interested in, but the smell of sweat beneath them. Alright, this guy's weird. Even the most disciplined are exposed by their own scent. Humans are overcome with fear before their demise, and their sweat wreaks something awful. But your scent is still sweet. There's no fear in you. Interesting. But what does that mean for me? I will tell you where Mother went, if you can best me. A man after my own heart. No. I don't stand a chance in a fight. We will do battle here. At death's table. <clears throat> I mean, it's true that he doesn't stand a chance. This is a level 7 quest and I'm level 27. Hold on, let me... No, I can't. No, okay. I 
I need to go around and like pickpocket everybody in all the cities too, but I'm not high enough level yet to actually get all out of the items that they have. I have gotten a rusty sword, which I assume turns into one of the best weapons in the game, because if I remember right, that's how it worked in the first game. No, I will gladly accept your challenge. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Cups. One is filled with poison. We will take turns drinking. The one who drinks the poison loses. <clears throat> Are there any other rules? It's like Russian roulette, but worse odds. If you try to run, you die. That's all there is to it. The slavers never <clears throat> lost a game. She doesn't stand a chance. I will begin. Dude, the first one he drinks is poison. <laughs> it appears my cup was safe. Now it's your turn, young lady. The poison is lethal. Drinking it means certain death. But not a merciful or swift death. <clears throat> Release will come only after what feels like an eternity of agony and excruciating pain. That's fine with me. It will give you time to tell me where Mother went before you perish. Ha <laughs> ha. Your false courage won't spare you from the pain. Well, well. It looks like my cup was safe, too. <laughs> but my compliments on the liquor. In fact, I think I'll have another. Ah, <sighs> exquisite. Oh. What's with this woman? This is the first time I've ever seen someone down two in a row. There was no rule saying I could only have one, was there? Ha <laughs> ha, I see. So you're a snake. <clears throat> Just like me. Is that so? I know the stench of imminent death better than most. And yours will reach my nose before long. There are two left. It's your turn. I do not fear death. I could even accept dying here. <clears throat> the only thing I fear is giving up on what I want. All right. All right, I wonder which one's bad. Ha, huh. do you think it's the right one or the left one? I mean, the left one is covered in blood, right? So that probably means it's good. And the right one is all crystal clear, so that probably means it's bad. Which is why I'm willing to bet everything on my dream. Thanks for the drinks. I can detect even the faintest scent of poison. I always dodge the tainted glass, <clears throat> leaving it for my opponent. Then couldn't you have won? Ha! I wanted to test you. But it looks like my curiosity got the better of me. You have bested me. <laughs> he drank the last glass. But that means... 
I will wow. tell you where Mother went. As promised. She hides in Wellgrove. In a place called Mother's Garden. It's officially an orphanage and has the support of a local monastery. But it's where she raises her hatchlings for the nest. <sighs> you could probably sneak in as a nun. Farewell. The war of snakes repeats itself over and over again. I couldn't cut myself loose either. The former head wouldn't let me. The former head? She was a good woman too. But she was killed by mother. I hope you find what you seek. Thank you. You're the one from before. I know your face. Throne. Let's go. It's time for Mother's punishment. Hero. He looks just like Piro when he was little. I feel like we've met before. So do I. I felt like you're someone important. That's why I followed you. Would your father happen to be named Piro? I don't know who my father is. Neither do I. Perhaps we have some things in common. Goodbye. Wow, oh, okay. The slaver had a shocking amount of depth. The, the determination of a man to willingly drink poison that is going to torture him to death. Like, that was such a good story moment. Holy shit. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing from all of, uh... Petruccio's family and everything. Oh, that's recommended level 31. All right. <clears throat> Patricio? Is it Particio? Am I stupid? Don't answer that. I know the question. Or I know the I know the answer to the question. Yes, I'm really really fucking dumb. I was kind of shocked there was no combat or anything. It was just a game of chance. That wasn't actually a game of chance because I knew the answer. <clears throat> it was a game of determination and willpower. I actually really liked that. That was really good.
I need to find a tavern again. Whose whose chapter is this? Temenos? So I have to switch to Temenos. Oh that makes that's fine. I'll switch up Oswald for now, actually. Suffer grievous wounds in the fight with the evil god Vide, and fell into eternal slumber. <laughs> Thought I would send you off with a bit of scripture. All in the name of Lord Vide. The city on the waters, Canelbrine. Just before the pontiff was murdered, someone met with him. A theologian known as Lucian, whose trail has brought me here. He may yet hold the clue I need to find the murderer. Who just shots that in a crowded town square? I guess I have my answer, but... <clears throat> hmm. This area has been sealed off. Oh, come on! Just give us one look! Stand back! The Sacred Guard is investigating this incident. Well, this is anything but calm and orderly. The only way to close a case is to begin investigating. I'd better ask around and find out what happened. Oh, now the town has an apothecary. So that's it, then. Ken O'Brien's renowned apothecary has been killed by an unknown assailant. Could this be related to the pontiff's death? Hmm. You there! What are you snooping around for? Well, he's an inquisitor, you see. Found me out, have you? I am merely the humble inquisitor. Don't move a muscle, stranger. I bet you're hiding a weapon. I'll have you restrained. What? That sounds a touch aggressive. Stop! That's Inquisitor Temenos from the church. You needn't restrain him. I vouch for him. A Sanctum Knight. Forgive us our haste, sir. Crick, we meet again. <clears throat> Was this your new post in the end? Indeed. 
And you're the last person I expected to see here. Though I'm glad I did. You were nearly wrongfully imprisoned. Are you all right, Temenos? You look rather pale. It is to my great shame that I am now indebted to you, little lamb. Little lamb? You still insist on insulting me. Nevertheless, a debt is a debt. I shall remember this. <laughs> to think I made my way to the same city to which you were reassigned. It must be... Not dare say fate, Temenos. That the Sacred Guard and I have come to the same conclusion is what I meant to say. This is no time for jokes, Crick. My apologies. Do you also suspect the theologian Lucian is involved? Among all Lucian's works, one called The Final Night casts the longest shadow. And anything with night in the title catches my eye of late. And soon night shall fall. The verse in the note the pontiff left behind. In myth and legend, the night is often a metaphor for the enemy, or some other threat. By that logic, perhaps the pontiff meant to warn us against the threat that is Lucian. Has the Sacred Guard learned anything? <clears throat> no, nothing at all. Oh dear, what useless little crows. <clears throat> do you know something we don't, Temenos? Of course I do. These two cases share more than a bit of scripture. Go on. One of the townsfolk had a most curious story for me. Our ill-fated apothecary met in secret with a man mere days before his murder. That man was Lucian. Wh what? The pontiff also met with Lucian just before he was murdered. I believe our theologian played a role in both incidents. Meaning, he is now the person of greatest interest to us. Come one, come all! Don't miss Hermes the Dancer's next performance! You want to buy a ticket too? You can pay your respects to the goddess of the city! Apologies, but I am otherwise occupied. Eh, they're no fun. Hermes dances tonight! Don't miss it! Meet at the tavern! A performance amid all this chaos. Temenos, we must question Lucian. There's not a moment to lose. He must be stopped. Hmm. I am not quite so willing. What are you waiting for? Another murder? There may well have been one already. All available evidence points towards Lucian, but something's troubling me. Alas, with no further evidence or clues at hand. Very well. Let us make our way to Lucian's home. Hmm. <laughs> 
All right. That's nice. Little conversations you can have between characters after a certain story progression. Oh, hold on, what's over here? Oh. Ooh, a chest. A resistant nut. Nice. <clears throat> Must be November. Lucian, are you there? I am from the Sacred Guard. I wish to have a word with you. No reply, as I thought. Then it's come to this. We must use brute force. What are you suggesting, Timorous? No, stop! We need the Sacred Guard's permission. Says the man who tells me we've not a moment to lose. Well, yes, but... We've got a moment to lose when it when it would compromise his morality. Duh. How dare you? There's no arguing with you, is there? Ah, bravo, Crick. You're learning. For a second, I thought he was drawing his sword to fight me. Let's invite ourselves in. Oh, gods, please forgive me. <clears throat> oh, is that Lucian? Hmm. How could this be? dead and it's him there's no mistaking it i very much doubt he is our killer now i mean unless he's making these kills from beyond the grave <clears throat> i'll call for help that would be unwise crick let's have a look around before the sacred guard has its way with the place we may find something that leads us to the real murderer. So this is where the trails led us. Captain Caldina. As head of the Sacred Guard, perhaps you should not intervene. I've made up my mind. We're going. Understood. Forgive my impudence. The Sanctum Knights! Never in all my days did I think I'd see the heroes of the Scripture in the flesh. The matter at hand must be quite serious. Ort, is there any news? It seems the Inquisitor has made an appearance. Uh-huh. Temenos, no doubt. Seems the Hound has a very keen nose. Ah, woo. Let him roam. He's no concern of ours. <clears throat> are you quite sure? We are simply carrying out the mission our Lord gave us. What do you make of this, Temenos? You're far too hasty, Crick. Give me a moment to think. Y yes of course Hmm. hmm. I've seen... Hmm. The truth lies in the flame.
Is this Lucian's note? Well, this is all fascinating. Hmm. But we don't yet know if it's related to the matter at hand. This is the same order that the gods fell in their battle against Fide. Oh, I forgot to mention, that's something I did off stream too. I went and I found every single guild and every altar. So all of my characters have their EX skill that they get from altars, and I have every class as a subclass now. Or as a secondary class. I just need to find the other t three secret uh, secondary classes. Proper prayers bring good fortune. Pray in the opposite order and you shall invite a curse. Could this have any relation to the three victims we found thus far? The first victim was the Pontiff. A strike at Elfric the Flamebringer. I'm glad to see he's thinking exactly what I was thinking. He's killing people. In reverse. Next, an apothecary. Dota, mm -hmm. charitable. Then Lucian, a scholar. Alifan, the scholar king. It seems the killer is working their way back <clears throat> through the order of prayers. Which means their next target will represent Sealtish, the Lady of Grace. A dancer, perhaps. Mm, maybe like the one who's going to be at the tavern later. Yes, yes. I see it now. Welcome back, Temenos. I know the murderer's next target. What? Are you sure? Is there a famous dancer in the city, Crick? Answer. Um. There's the one that Peddler was selling tickets for earlier. I believe her name was Hermes, and she was to dance at the tavern, or something of the sort. Ah, yes. Well remembered. I mean, that happened like five minutes ago. Wait, where are you going? Temenos! We must hurry. The killer will show themselves at the tavern. I'm sure of it.
Ooh, travel banter. Let's hear it. Okay. I'll take that. I think these two have lost the plot a little bit. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm trying to find valuables because I need money. <clears throat> I'll take that. 72k feels like a lot, but it it really isn't. I'll take that. Also, I mean, she can basically just pit pocket everything off everyone now. I'll take. It's one of the benefits of her leveling up as high as she has. <laughs> Hello, my little fishies. Are you having the time of your lives this evening? It's the goddess of Camel Pride. Too late. Do you really think the killer is in the audience? <laughs> Very carefully hidden, yes. It's one of three people. But to no avail, for I shall reveal him. I see three people it could be. Okay, let's hear some travel banter. There we go. I will get... <laughs> Where was I? That's... That's all. Oh dear. Take that! Yep. This string of murders was committed by none other than you. Vados the Architect. <laughs> Upon vanquishing the Flamebringer, you came here to Kennelbride, where you easily crossed the Charitable and the Scholar King off your list. 
and in accordance with the scripture, your next target will be... Sealtige, the Lady of Grace, who shall be played this evening by the renowned dancer Hermes. Isn't that so? I am a servant of the one true god, Vite. Open your eyes to the truth. The Sanctum Knight. Newly anointed, but yes. Bravo. He will, he will forever be newly anointed. Can I not? Okay. How else do I get over there? Well, I'm a little confused. I'm very confused. Do I have to go to the building? Alright, I'm less confused. Sacred Guard Ship Danger Level 14. I'm gonna fight things on here? Okay. I suggest you get out of my way. Here I come. Graceful dance. Oh dear. So sorry to work. Time to shine. Ready? Man, I found everything they're fucking weak to. All tidied up. Oh, see, these things are weak. Jesus. Especially for something that's a level 14. There we go. I need there to be a chest up here. Ooh, that's a lot of money. I could use that. Okay. My turn. All right. Good work. Ready? 
ready. All tidied up. Time for answers has come, faithful servant of V-Day. The late pontiff left a note behind just before his death. It reads as follows. And soon night shall fall. Words from the keepers of the flame, I believe. Hmm. The tattoo on the back of your hand is also a marking of theirs. Which means the Pontiff wanted us to know that the killer was one of you. <clears throat> the day of his murder, you took the underground passage. You lured the beast that killed the Pontiff to the cathedral. And left it to follow its natural instincts. Standing watch as the pontiff died. Well deduced, Temenos. None can deceive mine eyes, not even a god. Bottles. Why? You cannot detain me here. I am on a mission. Come, servant of V-Day. Oh. Time to shine! <laughs> so the black splotch on his face. My turn. No to axe. Yes. Prepare your Spear works. What about dag? To work. Okay. Do. Here we go, let's do it. Darkness descend. Right. Well, none of them were weak to that. Okay. What about Windy Refrain? The winds of favor black. Nope. Nobody's weak to that either. My turn. Ready? It's my turn now. Here I come. Very well. I won't back down. Like 
what to do. But I won't hold back. Fly arrow fortune. Here I come. I fight for my friends. There we go, get rid of that one. Ah, oh, that one's weak staff. Okay. Oh! Alright! Now now I know I need to get rid of them ASAP. Which, to be fair, I kind of assumed, but still. Now then. Yes. Very well. Holy light. Eliminate the darkness. Seeming time. Where was I? Holy light. Eliminate the darkness. My turn. There. All right. Now it begins. Cleaning time. But I won't hold back. Fly arrow fortune. It's my turn. I can do whatever I set my turn. Bye -bye. Here comes my end. To work. Holy light. Eliminate the darkness. Prepare yourself. Cleaning time. There. My turn. Time to shine. Weapon. You'll be atoned for your sins. Now die. To work. I can't believe he survived that. My turn. There. Now it begins. There we go. For the pride of Koo. That was one hell of an all-out turn, though. I did so much damage that turn. He somehow survived. That blew my mind a little bit. Now talk. <laughs> Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk. For the light shall fade. That's enough. Captain Caldina!
In the sacred name of Bran the Thunderblade, you are under arrest. Beg for his mercy, for it is he who shall judge you for your crimes. Be not conceited, for it is you who must beg forgiveness. Take him away. Your name was Crick, yes? Well done. I always look at the man when you're and talking so to him. so the crows of the sacred guard descend once more. So eager to take the credit for the hard work of others. Pardon us for not having the liberty of pecking at every seed and rock we come across. Go about your business. Your little interrogation is over. I will merely note that the criminal now in your custody is a heretic. He chose his victims according to scripture, you see. Well, nothing stay your tongue. Come, Crick. There is work to be done. Y yes, Captain. Poor hound. You lost your master. Hmm. <laughs> Careful. I bites. You're sending me back to headquarters? We will deal with the aftermath here in Kennelbrine. Vados will be transported to the Sacred Guard, where he shall remain in custody. You shall be his escort. I am honored, Captain. Yet... Yet what? In truth, it was Temenos who apprehended the suspect. As such, might we not grant him the opportunity to interrogate Vados? Very well. In deference to the late Pontiff, he may have his interrogation. Many thanks, Captain. Crick. Did your investigation reveal anything of note? Just before you apprehended him, Vados uttered something strange, yes. Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk, for the light shall fade. I feel I've heard those words somewhere before, but I cannot place them. Good work. That will be all. Excellent work, Crick. Ort, are you joking? We joined at the same time, and here you are serving as bodyguard to the captain herself. I scarcely deserve the admiration of someone so clearly superior. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> that sword of yours makes us equals. Come now, you needn't spar with me to know you're better, right? <laughs> it is possible for skills to atrophy, you know. The only reason I'm here is because Captain Caldina saw fit to raise me up. Just as the Inquisitor brought you into the church. Right. The flame lights the way. We just happen to be following our own flames. Down paths we pray are righteous. Uh, obligatory experience, uh, obligatory joke about how it was a taxing experience. May the sacred flame guide you, Crick. 
And you as well, Ord. Hmm. What is it that you're reading, Temenos? The theologian Lucian's notes. I borrowed them. Stealing evidence yet again. Let's not say anything we'll regret, Crick. This is well within the bounds of our investigation. Gods, please have mercy. <laughs> what do you plan to do next, anyhow? Well, the case this string of murders opened is now closed. I have been told to escort Vados back to headquarters, and that is what I shall do. Once he's safely in the Sacred Guard's custody, you'll be given the opportunity to interrogate him. Oh, with the Crow's approval? How suspicious. I think you would do well to choose gratitude over doubt, just this once. <laughs> you forget that doubt is what I do. So, there are two paths before me. Hoopa, are you not returning to the Sacred Guard headquarters yourself? That is the first path, and it leads to the interrogation of Vados. The second path, however, lies within these notes. The Felsun Moons. Apparently, they're somewhere yeah. in Crackridge. The theologian Lucian intended to visit them before he was killed. Hmm. I feel this might be a momentous clue. And so the second path leads to the Felsun Ruins. The question is, which puzzle do I solve first? Whichever you choose to follow, take care of yourself, Temenos. I shall welcome you at our headquarters, whenever you arrive. <laughs> I eagerly await our reunion. Oh, Crick. This is far from over. Why did Vados kill these people? Why did he liken his victims to each of the eight gods? There's something I'm not seeing. Something important. And I'm going to find out what. All right. Well, that was a good chapter two for Temenos. The Crossed Path, The Cleric and Thief, Part One. What? These are stories starring two travelers walking a singular path. Both travelers must be in you. He's the, uh... The cleric. The inquisitor. So I can go do the cross paths, which is level 16. Or I could just continue on my way as I, as I was going. Yeah, so far the only uh, the only city I know of that I haven't unlocked is Stormhale, but I think there's a city around here somewhere that I haven't unlocked, and uh, I 
Oh, and and coup. But I, I assume I can't go to coup until I progress the samurai boys, Hikari's story very far. And then there's probably another little town somewhere around here. One of these two islands probably has a town. I couldn't tell you which. You know, let's go do the scent of commerce. I want to go do the scent of commerce down here. But I got to switch out party members, obviously. Can't be. Is that the crest of the legendary merchant Masood? Come to think of it, he was supposed to hail from around these parts. Masood, the merchant who walked the entirety of both the eastern and western continents. Every merchant worth their salt would give a left kidney to read the chronicles he penned. To think I'd have the chance to meet him in a place like this. I need to take a gander at that mercantile manuscript. No, well, let's go talk to him then. Merchant Masood, ain't you? Oh, there's something I'm dying to ask you. It's polite to introduce oneself before shouting questions at strangers, you know. Oh, pardon me. Particio, at your service. I'm a merchant. So? What does Particio the Merchant want with a retired old man like me? Oh, I've heard stories about you ever since I was a chickadee. Uh, like that time you struck a deal with that horde of bandits, or when you saved that little kingdom in the west from famine. Oh yeah, and when you scuffled with the royal family? <laughs> that story stuck in my old noggin. I asked you what you wanted with me. A merchant should know how to get to the point. Oh, yeah, right again. Uh, sorry, got carried away. I'll cut to the chase. Let me read that chronicle you penned. The Mercantile Manuscript. No. Now leave. Uh-huh. Don't make me repeat myself. I have no obligation nor reason to let a nobody like you anywhere near it. Nobody? Now listen here, that's hurtful. Besides, even a nobody's got a nobody's pride. And if I may toot my own horn, I've got some merchant chops to my name. Oh, you do, do you? Then I'll give you a test. Prove your worth to me, oh nobody of supposed talent. This is what I'm talking about. You got yourself a deal, Phil. Good. As a merchant, there is one treasure I value above all else. Bring it to me. Uh huh? If you profess to be a merchant, the answer should be obvious. <laughs> of course, if you think this test unfair, you could just give. Interesting. I always stock whatever it is my customer's looking for. That's my merchant's creed. I promise, 
I'll figure out what your treasure is, fella, and bring it right here to you. I'd very much like to see you try. Hmm. The legendary Masood's treasure, huh? I'll need to start by looking for clues. Maybe someone around town knows a thing or two about it. Time to gather information. Hold on, let's switch out some party members. Make uh, getting information easier. I want Oswald. Let's stick with Agnia in case I need someone. No, let's actually switch out Agnia for Temnos. Just in case I need someone to follow me. Yeah, I can't get anything from him. Yep, still nothing. Just seeing how and who changes. The fact that this lady over here isn't changing tells me she might be a part of this. Ooh, 48% success. Time for some... <laughs> Where was I? Oh. D. Very well. To work. I guess I just keep hitting her until I. Hmm. Nope, that doesn't work either. What about... Okay, that one works. Oh, Masood's daughter. Time for course information out of her. <laughs> Very well. Where was I? Holy light, illuminate the darkness. To work. Flames burn bright. My god, this is gonna be a pain. Low, rigid wing. How's that? Oh dear. Smite that. Is that the spot? There we go. To work. Smite that. Very well. Smite that. Very good. Let's 
get to Let's try bringing her up there. Oh, I got a cutscene at least. As promised, I brought you your treasure, Masood. You did, did you? Show me. Your greatest treasure is her, your daughter. Hmm. Uh. Incorrect. Try again. What? It is true that many value their family above any jewel or gem. But that is not the answer that I am seeking for this particular test. Better luck next time. <sighs> Tarnation. I was sure I had it. What is this test that father gave you? Huh? Uh, oh, uh... Ah, what father meant wasn't his treasure in particular, but what a merchant treasures most. The thing you treasure most as a merchant isn't leaves or sundries, right? A merchant's treasure? <laughs> That's all the hints you'll get from me. Good luck. What do I treasure as a merchant? Like she said, not leaves or sundries, that's for sure. That's it. My greatest treasure is me. In which case, Masood must feel the same way, too. <clears throat> it's worth a shot, anyhow. So, do I just hire him? You want to hire me? What is the meaning of this insult, Mr. Nobody? I figured out your treasure, fella. It's you, yourself. Ask me to find the treasure you value most as a merchant. I figure every merchant's got one treasure they set store by above all else. Connections they've built, book learning and experience. All these things are far more valuable than any material object, leaves included. Or am I wrong? Hmm. Correct. I'm surprised you got it. <laughs> of course I did. My greatest treasure's the same as yours, after all. Besides, your daughter gave me a friendly push in the right direction. If I couldn't find the answer after all that, I'd have no right to call myself a merchant. I am honestly astonished that there are still merchants in this world who know how to see to the heart of matters. There have been dozens like you who have come here seeking my mercantile manuscript. Every one of them failed this test and went home empty-handed. I started to think the world had gone dull since I retired. Here. Take it. What's this? The key to the archive in which I placed my mercantile manuscript. Read to your heart's content. Yippee! 
You, you sure it's all right? I've grown old. I don't have much time left. All right, Jesus. When I pass, so too will my greatest treasure, correct? So I might as well pass on a part of that treasure to you, Particio the merchant. The sum treasure of those who came before you. You got it, fella. Thank you. Okay. All right. So this is essentially just an archive holding all sorts of information, which I will definitely look through later. So here we've got a bestiary. This one is about equipment. This is about items, their uses, and lore. And this one is also just lore. Lore about the world. I will definitely read through this later when I'm not streaming because that makes for boring content. <clears throat> That's cool, though. I'm actually really happy I came and did this. I kind of want to go do the other Scent of Commerce stuff now, though. Here, let's go sell some items real quick first, though. Because that, that shit was expensive. I need a lot more money. I'm like I said, I imagine one of the scent of commerce things is I get a ship and I imagine I have to pay for it. And if I had to guess, it's probably this one because it's all the way down here where the ocean is. It would not make sense to get a ship from this landlocked area up here. So let's go do the scent of commerce that's up here. Or at least try to. Please, someone help me. Hmm. I could have sworn I just heard something. Please, someone help me. It's coming from inside this house. I should pop in and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, let's just break into this person's house and see who's calling for help. Sure. Why not? Uh, pardon me. Anyone home? Please, someone help me. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, don't worry. I I'm here to help. Please, someone help me. I, I can't find you. Where are you? Is it coming from the gramophone by any chance? Please, 
Someone help me! Yep. Uh huh. Is this where that voice has been coming from? Please, someone help me! Who? Uh, who makes a gramophone recording of someone begging for help? What, a strange what the device. hell? I wonder if it's hooked up to something. No, the voice you hear is indeed coming from that machine. And you are? The voice Pleasure in the machine. Acquaintance. I am Audley. Name's Particio. A pleasure. Right back at you. I am a trader, a salesman specializing in curios and oddities. This device here is called a phonogrammic articulator. I purchased it from an inventor in the city. Wowee, a phonogrammic articulator, was it? Yes, and just like its name would imply, it records confabulations and re-articulates them. Yeah, mm-hmm. What an astonishing device. I guess that's why it sounds like you. Correct. And apologies. I didn't mean to cause any consternation. I sure was consternated. I thought some <laughs> poor soul was in a pickle and needed help. Actually, that is indeed the case. Say what? I'm in... Uh... Uh, Pickle, as you say, I can't for the life of me figure out how to sell the blasted thing. Oh my god, he's a pickle! I suppose that's why I recorded that soulful appeal. This new hickey won't sell? Seems interesting enough to fly off the shelves to me. Everyone oohs and ahs at first, goggling at this strange marvel. <clears throat> well, Pickle Rick wasn't in a pickle. He was a pickle. A machine that merely repeats a voice can serve. I see. Like a one-trick pony. Everyone gets bored right quick. Oh, hear me out. I'm gonna blow your fucking mind, alright? Are you ready? What if you used the recording device to record music? There's a piano right there. Yes. I proposed its use as an archive of sorts for ideas and memorandums. Let me guess. Everyone says paper's far <clears throat> faster and cheaper to boot. Correct. That is it in the proverbial nutshell. <laughs> I am a merchant like you, fella. Ah, so you pursue the path of commerce, too. No wonder you possess such clear insight. I have the unfortunate character flaw of excitedly purchasing every unusual do and dad I find. You purchase dads? <sighs> if only I possessed your discerning eye, Particio. I envy your perspicacity. Hey, oddly. Is one of the do's and dads you bought a fucking thesaurus? Say you got two boxes. One empty, one filled with jewels. Slap the same price on both, and which one would sell better, you think? Why, the one filled with jewels, of course. Then why not stuff that empty box of yours, chock full of jewels? Jewels? In the phonogrammic articulator? You betcha. Jewels made a sound that you want to listen to again and again. Music. All right, yeah. Stuff it full of music, you say? An interesting proposal. You're right. A cultured ear would delight at hearing beloved ballads time and time again. <clears throat> That's what I just said. 
Ah, wait, but... This town is a musical desert. I know no one skilled in the harp nor lyre. Again, you got a piano behind me. I'll rustle up some troubadours and hire them on for you. You would do that for me? You bet. I travel around, so I'm sure to run into some. I am in your debt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll prepare the device for recording at once. Good luck, fella. Now then, what sort of musician should I bring back here? Just one tune won't be enough, that's for sure. The more the merrier, as Pops used to say. Hmm, three's a lucky number. So that's how many I'll find. The oh, hold on, I had to find three? Jesus Christ. Uh... And I'm gonna guess I can't bring them back one at a time. So let's get all three of my characters who can, or yeah, let's get three of my characters who can grab people. So I need, I need Oshet, and I have Temenos. Okay, yeah, that works. Probably be better during the day. You're just a townsperson. Hunter. Townsperson. Alright, that's the lady who gave me the rusted sword. If I had to guess, I can find a pianist in the church. Assuming there's a church here, I don't know that there is. Hello, random lady. Sitting up in bed. Probably wondering what I'm doing in your home. not in this city. God damn it. He did say that there are no musicians here. Fuck. Flame Church! I could probably find a pianist there. So, yeah, let's go look at the church. Piano playing cleric. Yeah, guide her. This way. All right, then let's try. Let's see if I can just go back and deliver her.
If not, I'm gonna have to go. It's gonna have to be like a whole fucking thing. Oh, Particio, the preparations have been finished. Bravo, bravo. I've never heard such a passionate piano piece. I've listened to piano performances the world over. But... I didn't want to end this quest All there. Right. Only two more to go. Okay. I need to keep my eye out for another musician to bring by. Where the hell am I going to find two more musicians? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to find them in either of those places. Because these are like... Rich people areas. I mean, I guess. I don't think I'm going to find them in Montwise either. These are all like tribal people. These are. This is a warring nation. Channel Brian's very French, or not French. Uh, it's it's a lot like Venice. There's a violinist right there. Now we're friends. That one was lucky. I found her immediately. Oh, I saw the pianist with me too. So you got Ors Rush, Crack Ridge, Leaflands, or Wellgrove and Crawdale. Alright, I'm thinking of a number between one and four. Or pick a number between one and four, rather. And then I'll decide which one of these four we go to first to try and find this last musician. Three? All right, three is Crackridge. <laughs> sure. That's a dancer. Hey, okay, let's switch to day. Hold on. I'm I'm hearing like a guitar here that I didn't hear in this city before. Where's that coming from? I did not mean to walk out of the city. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Is there somebody playing the guitar somewhere? Oh my god, right here. Well, 
I can't believe that was that easy. Um, I'll be honest, I lucked on to the last two. I knew where the first one was. I had a great idea of where the first one was. Because, you know, churches and pianos have always kind of been synonymous. The other two were straight up luck, though. Oh, Particio, you brought a musician? The preparations have been finished. Fantastic! Sometimes soft, sometimes strong. The sweet sounds of sultry streams soothe my soul. This violin piece is indeed worth revisiting time and time again. Unironically, violin is my favorite instrument. All right, only one more to go. I'll need to keep my eye out for another musician to bring by. Uh, little known fact, I used to play violin. Oh, Particio, the preparations have been finished. Let's record. What a calming melody. The guitar's tranquil notes match that sprightly melody better than I had imagined they would. I'm sure this piece will ease many a troubled heart. Thank you so much. Equipped with a marvelous selection of songs, this device is now a truly marketable product. Strategically, I think it would be wise to sell it to the wealthy nobles and elite first. Uh, hold up there, fella. Why limit your consumer base? Let all sorts of folks enjoy your product. For example, hmm, a place where all sorts can a tavern. this thing. How about putting one in taverns all across the <laughs> <country? laughs> I'm beginning to think I wrote the plot for this for this game and these quests. Taverns? Are you sure? Larger establishments could afford it, certainly, but it's too costly for your average local tap room. Then why not cut out the recording part? Just sell the sound maker doohickey on the cheap. That's a brilliant idea. Everyone leap at the prospect of easy access to song, whether it's a hometown ditty or a romantic croon. You bet your buttons customers are pouring to any tavern sport one of these contraptions. I can use that for my sales pitch, certainly. Of course, once one of these is in taverns around the world, individuals will want one for themselves, too, I reckon. If demand gets high enough, mass production and mass profit ain't just a dream. All right, now hear me out. One day... Picture this, fella. We a make them smaller. Every household has their own personal music machine. And portable. And we call them CDs. That future may just be around the corner. What a fantastic notion. Particio, I am so very glad our paths crossed. Oh, yes. If you're willing, I'd like to give you the honor of naming this product. A name, huh? Playing it straight with music recorder ain't got no style. Is he gonna go on the nose and call it a record player? 
Phonogramics, kind of hard to say. Oh. Is he about to call it literally what I called it when, when a gramophone? Uh, how about we switch it around and call it a gramophone? A gramophone? Yes. Yes, I love it. Now off I go to sell it in every corner of the realm. Good luck, fella. I can't wait to hear it playing in a tavern near me. I'm actually secretly uh, on the development team for Octopath Traveler. Okay, so now I can just play themes that I've I've learned or earned in taverns. That's cool. God, I have so many fucking people following me now. <laughs> Alright. Now, because I need to know if I've just... if I'm just... I need to know if I'm like five for five on my predictions for the night. I need to go see if the final commerce thing is a ship. I have to know. I just put away Partitio like an idiot. Shipyard. That's a pretty fancy ship you got in the background there. How dare you try to pawn off that miserable vessel on me? What? I assure you, sir. That wretch is the legendary shipwright's apprentice? Un simply unbelievable. You have my sincerest apologies, sir. I had no idea. And that ridiculous sum, she asked. Does she not even know the market value of a ship? You have the right of it, sir. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. Fah. This has been a colossal waste of my time. I am furious. Furious! Good day, sir. I said good day, sir. Uh, wait, please. The apprentice of a legendary shipwright, eh? <clears throat> My merchant's nose is tickling. It's the Santa Commerce. Hey, that's the name of the quest. So how much does this thing cost if that man is like, hell no? Alright, I can't, I can't do any more predictions. How much do you think it costs? I bet you it's more than I got on me. I got 77,000 on me. I bet you it's more than that. I constantly feel like I've been poor in this game. Granted, I did spend like $400,000 upgrading everybody's armor. $1.5 million? You're insane!
Actually, you know, that might be... That might actually be feasible if it's supposed to be like super end game content. So you know what? I'll actually give that one to you. Let's go see what it's actually worth. Turn around and leave. I just, I don't think it's I don't think it's that far end game. You won't find anything here but an incomplete ship. <laughs> Lucky for me, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Excuse me? The name's Particio. I'm a merchant from that big old western country. Mind if I take a gander at your work? This ship is not for sale. This is what that rich fellow was complaining about, costing an arm and a leg. He asked me my price, so I told him. Nothing more to it. Well, how much is this here tub? I'm mighty curious myself now. A hundred thousand leaves. That is more than I have, but not much more. I would honestly, I would have guessed somewhere around like 500k. But I already said it wasn't for sale. If you have a problem with that, you can just go home. Huh, so that's the miserable vessel, huh? Half finished and left high and dry for a while by the looks of it. <laughs> My merchant sense is tingling. This here ship's a must buy. 100,000, huh? I don't have that sort of capital on me right now. I need to save up, man. Swing back when I do. Okay. Um, oh, guess what do we do now? I, st I still absolutely thought you were out of your mind for jumping straight to 1.5 million, though. What a jump. That's a lot of money. But again, I can't I can't blame you. That 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 does actually make sense if it was super late game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing, honestly. Cause how short am I? Two twenty three million? Well, to be fair, the the cost of things in the game you played was the game before this, and I imagine they rebalanced the the game's economy between games. Because I mean, that's what I would do. That's that's what I did between campaigns when, from my previous campaign to the current one I'm running. Y'all still candy from this kid. Thanks. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I know every <laughs> skill that has, like, some sort of, uh, effect, like, gain more money from battles specifically has text on it now as well saying 
if you equip this on another character, it, they do not stack. So I don't know if that was a thing in previous games, or in the in the first game where like you could just stack XP and level up super quick, or or are you saying that the leveling was too slow? Because like I said, I don't actually have very much experience at all with the first Octopath Traveler. None of these people have valuables. I'm just robbing people of, like, food. Okay. Yeah, it feels like the XP is ramping up quite a bit, but also I haven't run into any issues with it yet. I'll take that. Like, I haven't hit a point where I'm like, oh man, I'm kind of struggling to level up. I don't know, I guess we'll see as time goes on. I think I do also, to be fair, play a lot more RPGs. And I kind of like the grindiness. I know, I'm weird. Let's go to a fucking city that has rich people, I guess. What the fuck? None of these people have anything valuable on them. Let's go to New Delsta. Oh yes, a handkerchief, thank you. <laughs> Cheap ass. Oh, a plum. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, there we go. A coin pouch. I'll take that. Something at least. <laughs> oh, I stole a teddy bear off that little girl I can sell. Cool. I'll take that. A heavy coin pouch and aged wine. I'll take those will fetch a nice price, I'm sure. I did not mean to run out of town. I'm so dumb. Keep doing that. I'll take that. I can also sell some of my battle items. I'm not using them. Oh, I just actually ran into Diamante's estate. Better be careful. Doflamingo's gonna beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm a little upset we didn't fight Diamante. Or like any of the I'll take that. Do Flamingo family officers in uh Dress Rosa. I know I know that seems a little random, but it actually isn't, because Diamante was the name of one of the officers. Let's see if I manage to steal enough to get enough money to go do that now. Oh, hold on, there's one more lady to steal from here. Bottled nightmares, relax, what oh, the hell? Bad. I'm still 15,000 short. I'm gonna start selling some of these extra weapons, even though I really don't want to. some of the stuff that isn't worth a ton. Because, like, that dagger and that axe are both really good. I don't want to sell those. I'll sell that. Just sell feet picks. N ain't nobody want to look at my fucking feet. could sell some of these battle items. It's not like I'm using them. It's also all of these nuts I'm not using. Not because I'm not going to use them, because I, I just don't know who to use them on yet. I know I should be using the speed nuts on Throne, because the faster she is, the stronger she is. Like, I don't want to get any rid of any of these, like, 4,000 accessories, because they're all really... They all have really cool effects. I mean, I'm going to get a better... It hurts me to sell these, but I want the ship. Like, I'm not planning on streaming for too much longer. I want to go get that sh fucking ship. Absolutely could have just gone and done some battles for a bit to get XP and money, but like I'm impatient. All right, purchase the unfinished vessel. I have 400 leaves to my name now. 100,000 leaves? Wait, does this mean... You betcha. I want to buy that ship of yours. I get it now. 
You're just another one of them. Huh? You only want it because you heard the rumors, right? That my vessel is the last work of my master, the legendary shipwright. Sorry to disappoint you, but it wasn't my master who designed this ship. It was me. Uh, your point? I'm trying to tell you that it's worthless, unsaleable, just the brainchild of a mere disciple. Everyone I've told that to has, to date, immediately stomped off in a huff. Well, I don't much care who designed your ship, ma'am. Truth is, I fell in love the second I saw her. Even though she's incomplete? You're no shipwright. You've got no reason to appreciate her. You got me dead to rights. I couldn't tell stem from stern. But I know a deal when I smell one. And my merchant's intuition is hollering at me to buy, buy, buy. You're willing to gamble that much money on a mere hunch? When I was just a chickadee, I practice my appraisal skills by watching silversmiths day in and day out. I learned how to recognize well-maintained tools despite the patina of wear and tear. How to see the calluses on artisans' hands is proof of their dedication and talent. She's wearing gloves. Spirit and skill in you, man. You're a first-class artisan. Or my name ain't Particio. That's why I'm sure that any tub you make is gonna turn out sensational. You're the first person who's ever complimented these shop worn hands of mine. Well, I can't imagine anybody can see your hands because you're wearing gloves. With a spirit, a voice. Can you hear it now? I'm raring to gallop across the ocean waves faster than a frisky stallion. That's what your vessel show. So please, sell me this fine ship of yours. No, I already told you, it isn't for sale. Oh, shucks. Not yet, anyway. Mind waiting until I've made it something worth selling? Huh? From here on out, I'm going to work like a woman possessed to finish this ship. It'll take some time, of course. Will you wait for me? You bet your hat I will. Then it's settled. I'll use this money to buy the materials I need and hire a team of skilled shipwrights to assist me. I never thought I'd see the day I could finally set out to complete her. My master praised me for the first time when I showed him the blueprints I drew up for this ship. He told me, now I can finally retire with my head held high. He must have cared deeply for you. Building this was the final major job he set out to do. But he collapsed soon after we finished the hull. After that, our financiers scattered like a swarm of little spiders. They mumbled platitudes like the future is steamships as they went. The truth is, they didn't think a mere apprentice's ships would sell. My master's other apprentices started slipping away soon too, one after the other. It was ridiculous and 
infuriating. Soon, I just gave up making ships altogether. Well, once people get a whiff of this beauty, the investors will stampede back here like a herd of cattle. I hope so. But even if they don't, I'll keep on practicing my craft. There are people out there who will appreciate me and my works for what they are. Like you, Particia. Now then, all that's left is to give her hull a fresh coat of paint and sew a sigil into her sails. Any particular requests? Oh, I can choose... Black. I think red was its original color. Oh no, it was just brown. Blue. I kind of like the blue, honestly. Yeah, sure, let's go to try and do the sea god. Yeah, uh, let's do it. I'm fine with that. I actually kind of like that. Now hear me out, my flag, I want it to be a skull and crossbones oh, on a black flag. Than I'd dream she'd be. She's yours now, Particio. Go on, give her a name. A uh, name, huh? Let me see. From this day forward, I dub her the Grand Terry. Oh, it was awkward. My controller died. my ship but she's got your soul that's why i gave her your name terry here's hoping she's the first of many of her kind he, he named it the grand terry huh. this is a first for me i'm not really sure all what right to say. go and cast off already you rogue let her see the world you got it. Thanks, Terry. I'll be sure to treat her right. I can now take my own boat from Anchorage's the realm over. May even find uncharted islands and discover new creatures. I see a treasure chest floating in the water. A fortune wand. Oh, hold on. Rogue Island Anchorage. Oh my god, I need to get off the open water. Open water is level 34. <laughs> I am not level 30. I do not feel like encountering the Kraken and losing right now. But hey, I found, I found another city. It's like a city island called Rogue Island. Wait, is it is it Rogue or is it Rock Island? Or Roke Island? Like, it, does this does this island belong to the guy who fucked over Partic Particio and his father? It 
If so, fuck. Oh, I'm wandering around in a level 45 area. Uh, I need to stop doing that. Oh, I'm like trying to get myself killed for some reason right now. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just so giddy about this new ship, I guess. I, I suppose, uh, let's go find a save point. I did say I was going to try and do probably do the commerce quests all in one episode before. I just didn't think the next episode would be the one where I did them. got I only got two actual story chapters done like two different character story chapters done but I feel like I got a lot done today because I went and I did all those Particio side quests let's see did those actually count for his for his journey oh Temenos has went up quite a bit so did Thrones. I don't think he's went up at all, actually. <clears throat> yeah, I still have quite a quite a few side quests that I've collected, but I haven't finished yet. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode for now. Uh, it's, like I said, I simultaneously feel like I got a lot done, but also didn't get anything done. And I mean, isn't that just kind of RPGs in a nutshell? But yeah, so uh, I figured today would be a little bit of a shorter stream because I don't normally stream on Wednesdays and I will not be streaming tomorrow because tomorrow I am actually doing D&D. &D. Uh, and I doubt I will stream Friday because I'm now going to be busy Friday. So I probably won't stream Saturday either because I have some stuff I have to do Saturday. I don't know when the next day I'm going to stream is. Maybe Sunday. Maybe I'll do a short stream Saturday or Friday. Who knows? We'll, we'll see how I feel and how things line up. But thank you so much for joining me for this one. Uh, and I will see you in the next. <laughs>